two sex and say no. Oh, f I've had a f lads, lads. Do we need all this? Do we have to? Oh, ah. Oh. Hey guys, right, the question you have to ask yourself is this, do we really need everything we need? What we're doing today is we're going right back to basics and we're going right back to the basic umbrella, shoot through umbrella. We're going to add to that a simple reflector. Coupled with the good old fashioned beauty dish. The beauty dish has a sock diffuser on the front and a white interior that'll give it a soft look i'm not throwing this i'll put it down but you can see the portrait results that we get shoot in a model with these various modifiers i've set about this shoot exactly the same as i would if i was shooting with a large softbox or hexapara I positioned it sort of high and to 45 degrees to the right of our model. Our model is actually Alyssa. She's a dancer, not a professional model. So I've had to do a bit more directing, but this was made easy using the camera with auto eye tracking. So I could make her feel comfortable and explain in depth the poses that I wanted to hit. first test shots up were very pleasing and what I did notice was there was a lot more light on the backdrop which was fantastic. So now we decided because the the umbrella and the shot that was taken with just the one light give rather warm tones. I really thought I could exaggerate this by positioning Alicia just directly towards the light with the head turned towards the camera in the hope that I could bounce some light into the reflector and back onto the hair and the back of the neck. This, this reflector was used with the gold side showing just to exaggerate the warm tones. Uh, I set the reflector exactly where I wanted it and then realized it sort of settled around about two foot away from Alicia's shoulders. Once in place I set about taking some pictures to have a look to see if it would exaggerate the warm tones especially around her brown hair. The result was fantastic and to be quite honest with you we could have stopped there. Finally, just for an experiment, we decided, because we had done the previous video on the stacked and jacked setup with the 27 inch booty dish, we decided to bring it in, take the grid off the front to make it less contrasty and replace it with a diffuser sock. By doing this, we could really punch some light in to the model's face and exaggerate again the gold reflector and the warm tones. To do this, I shot first with the umbrella and the reflector and then finally switched the umbrella off, tested the booty dish and then combined them both together. This gave a fantastic result of warm tones, smooth soft light wrapping around Alicia and made for great results. So, do you need all the kit in the world? Probably not. Will I be using a huge soft box again? Yes. Will I be using an umbrella again? Absolutely. I kind of forgot how soft a light you can get from a shoot through umbrella. The other thing that I noticed was I found that the light flowing onto the backdrop and bringing the backdrop out was a real bonus that you sometimes can't quite get if you feather in a soft box. If you add to that the booty dish with sock on, what that done in conjunction with the, the warm toned reflector is 
that really wrapped around the subject's face and brought those warm tones out and overall give a real, real soft light. So answer in short is yes, you do need all the kit if you can get it, but it's not essential. I for one will definitely be using shoot through umbrellas in the future. So if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe, tap the bell, and more importantly, please leave your comments below because they are appreciated. And also I know what I'm doing right, I know what I'm doing wrong. So until the next video, catch you soon.